Hi, it's Emily. Today I'm going to try what is quite possibly the best budget alto flute on the market. I'll put it against my professional alto flute, which is a Sankyo, and we'll see how they both sound. So it has been very exciting to talk with people at Singer's Day. They reached out to us a while back and um, they presented us with this $1,700 alto flute. And um, it's pretty cheap for an alto flute and they make it so that people who are curious about the instrument can have access to it. So that's very cool. And um, they have worked with other YouTubers like Jay Metcalf over at Better Sax. And uh, he made some reviews of their professional saxophones and um, he liked it. So I'm very excited to try this alto flute. So it's the first time I tried it. I didn't open it yet, so let's see. Nice case. What do we have here? A little strap. That's cool. We can just put it here on those two little things and you can hold it on your on your shoulder it's nice so here let's try this flute okay we have this rod to clean it <clears throat> nice wow okay pretty cool you have two head joints one straight head joint and one curved head joint. So if you ever want to sell it to someone shorter or taller than you, I guess that's a big advantage. Or, you know, um, if you play a piece that doesn't require a C and you can use this, you know, you have, uh, you have more choice. So it's beautiful, very ergonomic. You have, um, so it goes like this. The G is offline. So this is the body. So I'll put it together. Put the foot here. So it's a silver plated body and mechanism with a foot joint, a C foot joint. Never seen a B foot joint on an alto flute anyways. Um, opposite G, as I said before. I'm gonna try the, no, I'm gonna try the curved first. Um, French style case, super nice case. Uh, fleece lined with a shoulder strap, like I said. It has the nice wooden clear cleaning rod. Um, I think there's also a microfiber cloth. That's very nice. And the pads are imported from Japan and uh, also the stainless steel springs. Okay, so I'll put the case here. Let's see, I have to adjust it to be comfortable. Nice sound. That's pretty cool. Okay, I'll just move this because I like having my pinky close Cool, cool. The alto flute is a pretty modern instrument. You won't find any Mozart repertoire or Bach repertoire for it, but it's a very beautiful instrument. It's used a lot in jazz, in um, bossa nova, or in contemporary music, uh, but you could also do some transcriptions of works and play on it. Uh, it's a nice color. It's not that much lower. It's just a fourth lower than the regular flute, but the color is completely different and it's a, it's a very cool instrument to have. It's also used a lot in flute choirs and um, so that adds to the family of flutes. So you have the same fingerings as with the C flute, but if you play a C, 
It sounds like a G. Okay, so it's a transpository instrument. Uh, so that's what the flute that, that flute is for. And it's a very well-built instrument. You can feel it when you hold it. Like it's very solid. It's it's a good flute. And like with the pointed keys and everything, it's pretty cool. Now I'm going to play a couple of tunes on this flute and then I'll do them as well on my other flute. So we can hear the difference or try to guess which is which. pinky here is a bit lower than I'm used to so I have to keep it closer but those are just normal things you know you get used to a new instrument there's little tiny differences um... their feet. Okay, so they're a bit different in the feel. The finger placement is a bit different, um, but like it's super cool. Like you can adjust to that pretty easily. In fact, on this one, either the left hand seems a bit more like a, the distance of a normal flute, you know, except the pinky is a bit lower. So you just have to get used to that. Keep your pinky closer. That's good. It's pretty cool. I'd like to try the... The straight head joint. I'm curious. I'll remove the head joint and I'll show you the inside of the case because I didn't yet. So it's a very nice velvet case. The green velvet, not a red velvet. Usually I'm not very tall so my my right hand kind of has difficulty to reach um, the low C with a straight head joint on a on an alto flute, but I'm curious. Let's try it just to see. Maybe I uh, grew since the last time. <laughs> okay. Woo! <laughs> you can that I could do but the other one is more comfy for me but like if you're just a little bit like taller or if your arms are just a bit longer maybe it's perfect for you but you have both so it's amazing you don't even have to choose so this flute is $1,700 and you can get it directly from Singer's Day's website 
Uh, shipping and tax is included in the price. Uh, it's probably the cheapest alto flute around, I guess. For the price, it's pretty good flute. Um, if you want to use Amazon US, um, they also have this flute. It's the same price. And um, both are in the description. Both links are in the description. So you can go and check it out if you want to have a super nice alto flute. I want to thank Singer's Day for sending us this flute. It's a very good instrument. It's a professional level instrument, all silver plated. I would totally play it in a professional setting. I hope I've sparked an interest in the alto flute for you. And um, it's beautiful. It's a nice sound. It's a nice color. I hope this video was helpful. If you liked it, please like it. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. And you can also go and check out our website musigy.com for our method. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Today we're going to try what is quite possibly the best budget f budget budget. That's a weird accent. I'll do that again. <laughs> budget. <laughs> okay.